charismatic, confident, hardworking, yet easygoing. These traits help to describe one very unique man of Morehouse. But what makes this young man so unique? There's always something distinctive about a non-African American who decides to attend an HBCU. But Meal Drag Minish's story is truly one of a kind. Hello, my name is Meal Drag Minish. I'm a junior business finance major from Nice, Serbia. Meal Drag was born on December 25th, 1991 in Nice, Serbia, Yugoslavia. His parents, Goran, Tatiana, and much of his family were very wealthy and owned property all over the country. I was a very spoiled kid and uh, my, my family, they spoiled me very well. I remember one time for a birthday, I, uh, my godfather gave me a computer and uh, I asked him, was that all? And that was the first computer that, that anybody in the city had. So I was very spoiled. By the time Minute turned one year old, civil war in Yugoslavia had begun. Due to the ethnic conflicts between the country's republics, War broke Yugoslavia into six different countries. Bombings, shootings, and riots left thousands of people dead, homeless, and maimed. In 1999, the war hit the hardest. When the war started in 1999, and I remember this day like as, as it was yesterday, uh, our house uh, got bombed. And I remember I was with my brother and uh, my father and my mother in the car. We just left the house and it was just a strong uh, detonation and uh, I ran I, I ran into the house and I saw, I mean, not into the house, and the house wasn't there anymore. As a result of the war, Minnick and his immediate family moved to Toronto, Canada. There, Minnick claims that he was not happy living there. A couple of months after the war, me and my family decided to move in Canada. That was not my decision, that was the decision of my father because my uncle, his brother, was living over there, a very wealthy lifestyle. And so we, we decided to go over there. We was left with nothing in Serbia and we, left, we went over there and I, I didn't like it. I just couldn't get, I couldn't understand the mentality and then uh, Canada was one of the countries that was actually bombing Serbia. So I had as a young kid, I was only nine years old at the time, eight and a half, eight, nine years old, I, I felt like I'm going into the enemy's hands, so I, I really didn't enjoy that. After the war ended in 2001, Minik and his family moved back to Serbia. However, at this time, the war had drained the country's economy and inflation had gotten out of control. So when we decided to go back to Serbia, we knew that we were going to face some hard times, and we did. When we got back, the economy was terrible. Uh, people are struggling. Uh, at this time, it was it was worse than a war. It was worse than a war because uh, it was the war mentality, but there was no war out there. In response to the hard times that Minnick and his family endured, he found fun playing basketball. In 2002, the Serbian national basketball team defeated the United States in the FIBA World Cup. This brought basketball to the attention of many young Serbian boys and girls all over the country including Minnick. In 2002, uh, Serbia won the first place in the world and that was the, maybe the biggest moment of my life and every other person because at this time it was three years after after the war and uh, we our country was destroyed and now we're playing against the United States and against Argentina and against all these huge countries and, and forces and we're playing uh, in the United States and we got the chance to actually compete with them and beat them and we kind of felt like okay this is our this is how we got them back. Minnick began practicing to develop his skills every day. Basketball would end up taking Minnick all over Europe to play. After being accepted to an exchange student college program, Minnick moved to the United States to continue his basketball career. So after, after one year in Marshall, Texas, I, I enjoyed it, but I figured out that I'm a city person. I'm not from a small city, so a small country town. So I went uh, and uh, transferred to Atlanta Metropolitan State College, and uh, I, I loved it. I loved it. I had an awesome time over there. After doing well at Atlanta Metro, Minnick got offered a full athletic scholarship to Morehouse College to play basketball. 
Minnick felt that going to the number two ranked HBCU in the country would be a good fit for him. Uh, I looked at many different institutions. One school was my favorite. I always wanted to go to Spelman College, but since they, they didn't want me, they, I, I applied three times, sent an application, but they just never <laughs> emailed back. So I figured out I'd go to school next door. <laughs> so I came to Morehouse College. And uh, Morehouse, Morehouse is, a, I, I've now, at that time, I made that decision, I don't know why. It was just a feeling like this is the place where I need to be. And uh, now today, a year later, I look back and I say, if I had any other school, I would definitely pick Morehouse again. Minnick is currently finishing up his junior year here at Morehouse College. He has bright plans for his future. What are you planning to do after you graduate? Well, after I graduate, hopefully next year, uh, my plans are to go to Wall Street. That's the most competitive environment in the world, so I feel like that's that's where I want to be. I'm a very competitive person. After that, I'm uh, I'm kind of more interested in entrepreneurship. I want to go back home and uh, bring the experience and the knowledge that I received over here, um, over there, and benefit not necessarily just uh, financially, but also help the people around me and just kind of combine the pleasure and, and the work. So yeah, something like that. You know, being over here, I feel I feel already special. So now I just I I know every step I make, I, I just gotta do it strong, and that's that's how the people are over here. So I'm, I feel like I'm in the right place. This is an amazing place to be.